Okay, so remember I did a video how J.J. Reddick dissed Coach Prime. In that video, I had showed this quote that J.J. Reddick has said about Coach Prime. So J.J. Reddick, he's trying to double talk now and pretty much just saying that he wasn't really specifically talking about Coach Prime, but if the shoe fits, then Coach Prime is wearing it, right? So LeBron James, he decided to put up that quote in his story and say facts. So that's why a lot of people are saying that LeBron James is dissing Coach Prime because he's standing with J.J. Riddick on that quote. And one of the people that called out LeBron James and J.J. Riddick is Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown took to his YouTube channel and he had went off on both J.J. Riddick and LeBron James. So with that being said, before I highlight Kwame's comments, let me play the clip of J.J. Riddick talking about the quote that went viral of him dissing Coach Prime. Here's the video. A lot of people think I'm referring to Deion Sanders. I'm referring to Coach Prime. Uh, in some ways, yes, right? Because, you know, his talk to the Philadelphia 76ers was posted to social. And I recognize that the 76ers didn't do that, right? That uh, was Prime's people. You know, the difference for me, first of all, I love what Prime is doing. I f*** with him hard. Like, he's awesome. Like, love it. Love it. This is, that was not a knock at Coach Prime. Let me explain the difference, though. Uh, Coach Prime is coaching college football, all right? I have no issue with him having cameras on, on him all the time. He's selling a program. Uh, he's, he's selling a culture. He's trying to get his kids and his players NIL deals. He's trying to build the profile of Colorado football. It's a totally different thing. You think about the change in the landscape of how college programs approach social media. They are selling. It is a recruiting tool. It, I, I couldn't imagine when I was at Duke to have behind the scenes access all the time. There's cameras at Duke all the time and they post everything on social. Like that is the, the day and age we live in. There's no going back. We, we've opened up this box. There's no going back. I recognize that. I'm not even referring, I, you know, I'm partially referring to, to the dinner uh, speech that Coach Prime gave, but it's more about every single, it's like Grant Williams in the huddle showing leadership. Uh, Jalen Brown dribbling a basketball on the sidelines. I, we, I get it. We want content, but I make content. I'm in this. I know some things don't need to be posted. Some things there doesn't need to be a camera on. It's interesting because I, I, when I was having conversations with friends the next day, I kept using the word intimacy. And Nick Nurse yesterday, when we were doing our pregame me meeting, he used that word. He talked about building trust with players, and he's like, I've spent a ton of time with them this summer. Uh, you know, obviously all September, now I got a week of training camp, but I'm not at the point now where there's intimacy. And my question, and this is what I was trying to get to with my tweet, how do you build intimacy? Can you build intimacy if there's always a camera on? There's always a camera on in the locker room. What are, what are you actually doing? If I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to like let the cat out of the bag here, but Everybody's like, oh, JJ is so real. JJ is so authentic. I give you 90%. You think I've given you all 100% when the camera's on? There's not a person in the world that gives 100% when the camera's on. So how are you building intimacy if everything has to be recorded, if there has to be a camera in every single place? It's a, it's, it's, it's a challenge, though, because all these teams, and I'm talking about professional sports here, all these teams, We've, we've hired digital media teams. They have a job to do. I get it. And they do a great job. We have this obsession with hard knocks, drive to survive, all this stuff. Like, I get it. I get it. There's stories to be told for sure. There also has to be moments within a team. Any professional athlete will co-sign that. There has to be a level of intimacy within a locker room. And I just think we're on a slippery slope right now. This is not a knock on Nick Nurse. This is not a knock on Prime. We're on a slippery slope in professional sports right now. The college, college guys have to do it. Coach Prime has to do it. That's how you build a program. There's no other choice. There's no other choice. But in professional sports, it has to be about the players and the bond they have with each other and with their staff. And I don't know if you can fully do that if there's a camera on at all times. Okay, and that's the video right there. JJ Riddick has now deleted that video from his YouTube channel or put it on private. I had a hard time searching it from his YouTube channel because I wanted to play the video version of that, but I couldn't find it, man, because I think JJ Riddick took the video down. So that's what JJ Riddick had to say on his quote that went viral about him dissing. 
Coach Prime. So with that being said, guys, let's get into what Kwame Brown had to say about this topic. Be sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already. That really does help my YouTube channel continue to grow. I really do appreciate that, guys. And don't forget to subscribe up as well if you're new to the channel. Let's check out what Kwame Brown had to say. Here's the video.